Hey everybody, and what's up gamers? This is Exceeding Shadow and Slash Shadow 964 x Uh, if you can't really tell from the title of the video, I believe I'm calling this, uh, my Christmas special of video game collection, I believe. So it's video game collection Christmas special. I'm showing you every game I got for Christmas. And I mean every single game, because I did not leave out any. I looked at every single game I got, basically. Like, I scanned the names and everything. It's like, yep, I got this game this time and all that. So, I am now showing you every game I basically got since Christmas. I'm going to get you started. First, we got Shadow the Hedgehog. I believe that Christmas was 2005, I believe. SmackDown vs. Raw 2010, I got it in 2009 Christmas. Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkai EG3, I got that at the 2008 Christmas. Yes. Let's see, going over here. Sonic the Hedgehog, I got it with the, um, as my Christmas present with the 360. Um, you know, that one year, 2006 or 7, I'm not sure. But I do remember I got it for Christmas present because it was like the first game other than Halo 3. So it was like 2007, I guess, they got it. So, yeah, Halo 3, also 2007. Next, we got Sonic Unleashed and Sonic and the Black Knight. Um, okay, so for these two Christmas presents, I'm not all that sure. For Sonic and the Black Knight, I think that was 2008, and then Unleashed was 07 or 08 as well. But I know I got both for Christmas, so I know that. That's the only thing. So, uh, Pokemon Battle Revolution. I got that in the 2007 Christmas. Sonic Un Heroes. I think that was uh, 2004 or 2005. I think it was a 4. I think. If I'm not sure. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah I think it was a 4. Um, if not, please tell me. <laughs> Even though you might be, like, psychic or somehow and telling me, Oh my god, you actually got it this year? It's like, oh my god. So next we got is, yes, the original box of Pokemon Emerald version. Got that, I think, in 2005 or 2006 or seven. I think it's the sixth one. I think 2006 Christmas. Uh, Sonic Battle, I got that actually in 2005. And or for Christmas. Uh, Legend of Zelda. Uh, Orcarina of Time. Mario Kart 64. Star Fox 64. Got all those on the same Christmas. And it was 19... It was uh, 1999, I believe. Yes, 99. Uh, you're you're gonna see why, cause I have three other games for the 64, and I do have the actual manual. So, if you guys really want me to do a video about manuals, which I actually will probably do for something else, but just tell me in the comment section below, and I'll probably do it. Now I got Sonic Battle. Oh, okay, I said that. Sonic Adventure 2. I think that was a 2002 or 2003 Christmas. So. Next one is Super Smash Bros. Melee. I believe that was actually 2002 Christmas. Got it, like, around the same time as my GameCube. Uh, okay, so now these ones are totally different from the other three. I said it's 1999. Now, these ones are actually all uh, 2001. Yeah, like the end of, actually, the end of um, the 64 era. Yeah, how did I not get Super Mario 64 first? I don't know. Just, just don't even ask. I just don't know. Um, Super Smash Brothers, the original, 64, and Pokemon Stadium 2. I even got the manuals and everything, see? Yep, this manual is actually kind of rare to find for some reason. Uh, Smash Brothers, 64, of course, and Pokemon Stadium 2, the manuals. So next, over here, we got Fantasia, the only game I got for Sega for Christmas, and I know that was a Christmas because... I got this with the Sega. Fantasia, the movie or whatever. Pretty good game, actually. Um, the year. Now, that I'm not all that sure about the year. But if it's the year, I'm trying to think. I think it was a, a 95. 
I'm not all that sure. So <sighs> it's pretty hard to remember that. Um, the legend, the legendary Starfy. I got that actually uh, 2009 Christmas or 2010. It was one of those two. Um, Crash Bash. Um, I think it was a 2001 or something Christmas. It was it was around that time. Sonic and okay, I got this one. I don't know why. I don't even have a engage, but. Sonic N, my dad got that for free when he was Christmas shopping for me. How did he get it for free? Engage wasn't that popular. They were selling out. Not even the company really wanted the games back. They just wanted to sell them out. Um, so he got it for free when he bought, like, other games that year, which I don't remember which one this was, exact year, because I was surprised for this one. I don't have an end gauge at all, so I'm surprised, and, you know, I can't play it or anything, so, yep. Oh, yeah, the year for this, I think it was 2003, I believe. Not sure, but it's around that time, because I, I think it was, like, around Sonic Advance 2, so that's why. Next we got is Ultimate Spider-Man. I believe this one, I actually got it late in the Xbox series of Generation, you know. Um, I think I got it in 2006. Yes. Yeah, around 06. And in the last game, I got Sonic Rivals, which this one I know I got in 2008. Because I played this game first, like, non-stop until I actually beat it. And, well, the one thing I left out, it's not a game, but it has games in it. The iPod! <laughs> yep. A trusty little iPod. Yep, this iPod right here. You turn it on, whatever I have in there. I'm also on Twitter. I don't have that many apps, but I got it all boosted up on my app, you know, accounts and all that. I got Angry Birds, Angry Birds Rio, Angry Birds Seasons, Plants vs. Zombies. Um, uh, there was like one more game, but it was for free. And yes, it was actually the full game. It was free though, but um I forgot what it was called. Yeah, I forgot what it was called. I'm sorry. But yeah, that's mostly all I had on the iPod. Uh oh yeah, so I left this out too when I think about it. So this is the the D S, the original the red original um kind they had out for the three D S and I got Mario Kart D S so I don't have to show out the D S game because it's already on the cover um so i believe that's it actually if i left anything out let me look around for a click click yeah click second a little quick second um yeah i believe that was actually it uh some of you are saying do you not have any older games other than the 64 um and, well, that one Sega Genesis game over there in the corner. You know, I do, of course. Yeah, of course, if you see the games collection. But I got, like, none of those during questions. Uh, not questions. Why well, I can't say anything today? Christmas, but um, I, didn't, I didn't get that many things. Uh, well, this looks like a lot in years. In years. But if I, it's not like I got every single one of these games in, like, five years tops, no. I got all these games from years to years to years. I did, um, I did, there actually is some I'm not putting in this video because I was way too lazy about you go getting them. But it does not matter because I can just tell you right here straight up. Okay, so number one, with my hand, woohoo, okay. Number one, Spider-Man the movie game on the Nintendo GameCube. Number two was Yu-Gi-Oh! False Kingdom something on the Nintendo GameCube. Um, uh, WWE WrestleMania 18 on the Nintendo GameCube. Um, uh, I'm trying my hardest to actually remember some of these consoles and games. I'm still thinking, but it's kind of hard. Um, 
there is actually two games that downloadable games I got from the Virtual Console slash Xbox because I can't show you them, but you know I could tell you them. Uh, I got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4, Turtles in Time reshelled for the Xbox 360. Um, for the Wii, I got a oh, oh sorry, Sonic Chaos for the uh, I believe it's the Master System. Um, still kind of hard to remember some of these call it games that I might have left out. But other than that, I these are the games that mostly had more memory to them because they were most vulnerable, more realistic, more well, they're all realistic, of course, but more you know enjoyable to me. And yes, if you're some of you are saying they're mostly all Sonic, <laughs> which I'm actually noticing right now. We got one on PS2, six, 360, two on the Wii, GameCube. Another GameCube, hold up, oh, my hand itches, a Game Boy Advance, a, a PSP, and then an N-Gage, yeah, that's like almost every console right here, except for the DS, PlayStation, and uh, Sega. So, yeah, that's, oh, and 64, of course. Um, I believe that's it. And the last thing I guess I didn't show off was this thing right here, which... I put up every Christmas at, um, since 2007, because that was when, I think, I think 2007, 2008, when Super Mario Galaxy 1 came out for the Nintendo Wii, so that was, you know, I don't remember how much this was at all, but I I put random stuff in there now. <laughs> it's not really much candy no more. I could put a uh, um, sock puppet if I would have wanted to, but, you know, there's no mouth. What's up? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. But, um, oops. Eh, that's about it, I guess. <sighs> so I guess that's it. Um, oh, wait. Now I remember one last thing. I remembered one last thing. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, my God. I forgot. To, I can't believe I actually forgot to put that thing in. Oh, you know what? It's actually inside right in here. Yes. Uh, the thing actually got in there. <laughs> Thank you that I remembered because there was actually a list on my left and how can I forget the list of games I did not put in this video. Um, let's see, I'm missing only two games I forgot. Okay, it's only two games. Okay. Um, so that one game, well, yeah, actually two games I should say. One game is uh, Spyro the Dragon on the PS1. Uh, like I said, I have no, more, I have no space. And I kind of have to make a video kind of fast because I'm doing stuff today because it's Christmas Eve when I'm recording this. Um, and the game that's in there, other than Spyro the Dragon on the PlayStation 1, it's Hey You Pikachu. Yep, I got the mic, um, you know, of course, some of these actually don't have the boxes, but, you know, I got the mic and all that. But the actual thing that's in there is actually the, the, the rare to find for a lot of reasons, um, the actual VHS to tell you how to use Pokemon Hey You Pikachu. Yeah, it's only like a one minute video. Uh, it tells you how to use it. And the funny thing is they're dissing on WWE while in that video. So, you know, that's actually all I can think of because that's all she, well, basically all I got. Of course, probably some more, just never really think of it, so it's not really much of a video, but it still shows you a lot of games I got for Christmas. Hopefully this year, um, at least I get two games. Uh, like, mostly all these games, I got like two to three games. Um, but I never get at least one game for Christmas. I always get two games or even more when I don't even want more, but it's still good, though. So... Please like the video, add as friends, subscribe, share friends, favorite it, and please tell me what games did you wish you would get for Christmas from this list, or if you did, or tell me your favorite Christmas memory of any games that you got, how long did you play or beat it, or have you never defeated it? Um, oh, sorry. And tell me, what do you want for Christmas? I'm, it's not like I'm going to buy you it, though, but what did you want or do want for Christmas? And I guess I'll see you guys on the next episode of Video Game Collections. And I'll talk to you guys later.